Scott Pilgrim Volume 5, and it's me, Ben, from the Gaming Space, I didn't do my intro, yes, Scott Pilgrim Volume 5, Scott Pilgrim vs. the Universe. So, Scott Pilgrim vs. the Universe, it is, so it's meant to be the biggest, uh, well, besides the last book, it's meant to be the biggest so far, because you have not only got, you haven't got one Evo F1, you've got two in this one, the Yucatian Aggies win. Now, in the film, these guys get about five minutes. This entire book gets five minutes in the film. This book gets about five minutes in the film. This book gets... I don't know how long in the film. Probably the year looking at about ten minutes. Maybe slightly longer. But still, this book, five minutes? And this is a very important book. I mean, this delves... This isn't so much about Scott and Ramona. Rather, Scott and Kim. Now... Of course, Scott and Kim dated in high school, and Scott's, it, it, Scott comes to the realisation, okay, I still have feelings for her, I still like her, and Kim comes to the realisation that, yeah, she still likes Scott. Um, but, but, of course, Scott's in love with Ramona, and he knows he's in love with Ramona. Um, but then there's Kim, who has been by his side pretty much his entire life. So, you know, you've got this kind of dilemma going on here. Should I choose Kim, should I choose Ramona, I think. But then Ramona goes missing halfway through the book. She just sort of disappears. Um, pretty much off the face of the planet. I do believe this book she goes disappearing. Uh, yeah. She goes disappearing in this book, like, halfway through, just over halfway through. Um, because her, her and Scott's relationship is just going completely down here. Uh, he's starting to realise that perhaps she isn't as perfect as he thought she was. And she's starting to realise that her, her past will, wherever she goes, catch up with her, which will come on to in volume 6. Um, so the Cathy and Aggie twins come along and they have a fight at this, at Julie's party. Julie's one of Stephen's friends who's in Sex bob -on. Um They go to one of her parties and the Cathy and Aggie twins are there. And they're doing a concert in town this week or whatever in the book. They're doing a concert soon in the book. Um, but it never gets to the concert. Uh, they kidnap Kim, and Scott is then Scott then has to go and fight the Cathy and Aggie twins and save Kim. And in doing so, he, you know, leaves Ramona in a sense. She leaves him and goes off with G Man. Uh, and yeah, that. It leaves the book ends on a very cliffhangery kind of thing. Like you, you know that the next book's going to be absolutely amazing. Um, due to the fact that Scott gets a phone call, I do believe it's a phone call he gets. Which is an email. I can't think of on the damn page. Ah, oh, he gets a letter. Oh no, no. Yes, he does get a phone call. He gets a phone call from G-Man, i.e. Gideon Gordon Graves. And G-Man is Sex bob new manager. So, Ramona all along had... Uh, Ramona all along dated Sex bob manager. So, yes, Scott has now been thrown... Uh, Scott quit the band due to this revelation. He... Ramona has left him to go back to Gideon, and now it's all gone to shit. So, <laughs> yeah, Scott Pilgrim vs. the Universe is a very good book, one of the highlights of the series. The last three in the series are absolutely amazing. The first two, pretty damn good. Third one, not so good, I don't think. So, yeah, pick this up, part of the six foot box set on Amazon or something, I don't know. They're not very expensive on their own, probably about five on the back of the 7.99, but that was probably when it was released. So thank you for watching. Please check out the final episode coming up 
Well, I'm going to record, record this in right now. Uh, it'll be uploaded whenever. So please check that out. Please check out the other videos. Rate, comment, subscribe, and bye.